Hey, welcome to this Final Fantasy XIV Guild Making Guide. I just wanted to put together a quick guide to show you four great ways to make Gil in Final Fantasy XIV. And I want to show you all the different methods because some might get overfarmed, and depending on your server, the prices may vary, which will change their effectiveness. So the first thing you want to do when figuring out how to farm Gil is to check out the market. And you just want to look through all these items and see if there's anything you can kill that will drop these items. So most of the items are pretty much worthless to drop off enemies. So what, what I want to say really quick though is one of the best ways to make gill in the game right now is to sell something called potash which you can see is going for 84k or coke which is going for 80k. So you can actually buy these for tombs of philosophy which you get from running dungeons, 125 will buy you one. So if you clear uh, Castrum Meridianum or Praetorium four times, you can buy three of those regents. You can do runs in 30 minutes. So technically, you can make about 150k an hour just running these dungeons. And these two right here. And then just buying these ingredients off of, off of the vendor. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Revenant Soul. This will probably get a little bit laggy just because it's slow. And after I go through this, I want to show you alternative ways to farm Gil. And the reason I mention that is because if you're on a new server, I'm on a, old, I'm on a legacy server, so you're probably not going to find as many... You're not going to find as much gill on new servers, so there won't be much spare gill lying around for you to buy expensive items. And the reason why Gil used to be more prevalent is because, this is the right vendor, it's Ariana. You're going to talk to Ariana, click any of the Disciplines of War, and then click, um, I'm sorry. You're going to click the Items tab. And you can buy these crafting ingredients, in particular Potash and Coke seem to sell really well. They're only 125 tombstones, you get... A uh, hundred for clearing those dungeons I mentioned earlier. So that's a great way to make gill, but eventually that will get farmed out. You know, people will, will do that. There's once they get their dark light gear. So I wanted to discuss some other ways to make some gill. So the first one is going to focus on, I believe we're going to quarry mill. Let me just double check. So we're going to head to quarry mill, and this one's for crystal farming. And the way crystal farming works is just like in Final Fantasy XI, if you kill elementals, they can drop crystals. Crystals can be converted to shards by an alchemist or used in crafting. Um, shards are used in crafting, so they're good to have. They always hold value for that reason. Um, we're going to go to Earth's Font, and, or Fount, and the reason we're going to go there is because there's water elementals level 50, which means they have a really high chance to drop crystals since they're a higher level. And water crystals are a little bit rarer than the other ones. I think they're just because they're in high demand. And also because there's not many um, higher level water sprites in leveling areas. So there's lower level ones, but those don't drop crystals as much. And again, on my legacy server, the prices are probably pretty suppressed because it used to be super easy to get crystals and shards. You get crystals just by killing any level 50 mob, water mob. So on newer servers, this strategy is going to be more profitable. So I wanted to talk about it, put it in the video, even though out of the four farming spots, or the three farming spots, I'm not including the dungeon, the dungeon running farming, but out of the four farming spots, this was the least profitable for me. I mean, I still was able to make some money off of it, but just not too much. And we're just going to head back here. And here's your water elementals. They'll spawn behind these Ked monsters. And there's pretty fast spawns, and there's quite a bit of them. And since they're level 50, it will take a while to kill. You know, you'll never run out of monsters here, which is good. Even if two people were farming here, it would be no problem. So, just going to run through this, kill a couple of these for you, just so you can see what we're going for. So drops are okay. So what I did was, before I did this video, I ran through all these spots and I killed for 15 minutes and I tracked my drops. So there's a water crystal. Right now on my server, these are just under 100 gil. So better than nothing, but it's not crazy good. 
but they're easy to kill and I figure that the prices of these will go up over time and the reason I think that is because eventually the legacy crystals will get burned through and it's not too easy to get crystals unless you go out of your way to kill elementals or harvest both of which are time consuming so I suspect that these prices will increase so I just wanted to include this video you know if you check this video later in crystals are five or six hundred guild and this strategy will be really good okay so I'm going to kill a couple more for you see if we can get any drops and the good thing about elementals is that you can get up to three crystals in a kill oh that's what we're going to talk about in a bit I've already sold these raptor skins that's going to be the last farming spot I'm going to discuss and that was actually the most profitable one for me okay so those are crystals those work okay another good spot I like is over near Camp Drybane this is going to be a little bit lower of a level spot, but not the lowest. So we're going to head over to... towards High Bridge. And we're going to go into the Burning Whale, or Wall. I'm not sure what that said. Yeah, Wall. I don't have my, don't have my contacts on. The font was a little small. So anyway, we're going to head over here, and the re mob I like to kill over here is the Golden Fleeces. They drop, uh, I think it's called Snurfle Tufts, and right now they're selling for about 350 gil apiece. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, in the past, um, at the Water Crystal spot in 15 minutes, I formed 26 crystals, which is worth about 85 gil apiece. They already sold, I did it in a previous video, which comes out to be about 8,000 gil an hour which is not bad but it's not great um, like I said it could if the crystals were worth more it definitely would matter so I'm kinda keeping an eye on crystal prices over the next month or two and if in two or three months the prices skyrocket once more gill flows into the game and once more the older crystals have been used up by people leveling crafts I think that could be a really worthwhile pursuit but for now it's just something to know about I mean if you're on a new server and crystals are more valuable that could work but on my server right now, it's just okay. And that was actually the best elemental spot I found. In terms of the cost of the crystal versus the amount of mobs present. So we're to our next farming spot. And what we're going to kill here is the golden, golden fleece. The reason I like these mobs is because there's a ton of them. The drop rate is decent and they're super weak. I mean, I am level 50, I do have good gear, but they're just, you know, and other people are farming these too. I mean, some people are here for the quest, but some people are definitely farming. So these are the two, these are golden fleeces. They spawn, I'm sorry, I meant to go over here. They spawn best in this region right here. If you go too far south, you run into doblins, which, you know, don't provide the fleeces that we're looking for. Or not fleece, I'm sorry, but any of fates do spawn around here, I just don't really have any interest in them right now. These are a little bit lower, so I can kind of take a more aggressive approach when fighting them without losing too much downtime. You can kind of lead from one to the next. Save time. You can't even group them up if you have a high enough character or a character with such a capacity. Sorry for the clicking, I just wanted to, um, I have all these macroed for Barrage, but for AoE, in my, I have my hand, you know, for the video, so normally I would macro that, but not today. Okay, so this is actually the area I like the best with this crystal is. There just seems to be a pack of... I'm about to die, not paying attention. <laughs> that would have been really embarrassing. So anyway, I don't think I even got any drops in these 7 kills. And I was able to get 9 in my 15 minutes. And 9 is worth... But said on my server, they're going for about 350 gil. Which is, um, not bad. 
and I believe that worked out to be about 3,000 gil or so for the kills, and they've already respawned. Okay, that's what we're looking for, snorkel turfs. So in those 15, or those 15 minutes, I was able to make about 3,000 gil, which again is worth about 12,000 gil an hour. So now we're going to go to our next spot, which really just blew everything else I could find out of the water. And I'm afraid that eventually bots will discover this, and it won't be worth so much anymore, but for now, it's great. It's, you know, it's the only thing that's even close to the competitive I've found with just running dungeons. And I'm assuming once the dungeon ingredients come down in cost, it'll be even better. So Camp Overlook is where we're headed. Alright, so what we're going to kill here is raptors. And they're, they spawn in a not very big area, and there's not very many of them. But their drop rate is ridiculous. I never see anyone killing them. So if we're on the map, we're going to start here. There's two, and then we're going to move up towards the city here, and that's it. It's just this small little region. Okay, so here are two on this side. I'm going to show you the full path. See, they drop raptor skins, which you saw earlier, I just sold a stack of 35 for, even after the tax was about 6,000 6, some gil. I sold them for 200 gil, or yeah, 200 gil apiece. Maybe it was 185, but it was, it was up there somewhere. I think if I wanted to wait longer, I mean, I put those up literally 10 minutes ago and they already sold. So just to give you an idea of, you know, what kind of profit is available here. So that's the other good one. Raptor Sinew is actually worth 400 gil apiece. So as you see, I've just killed a couple of these and I've already netted two skins and a Sinew. That's 800 gil. And it's only taken a couple seconds. They're actually level 34, so even lower level players can kill these just fine. I also like to kill the rap the lightning sprites here just because my DPS will slightly exceed these spawns, so why not? So there's three raptor skins, that's another six hundred gil. Two more raptor skins and a sinew, eight hundred gil. I think we're up to like already up to uh, you know, two thousand gil since I've been here. And lightning crystals are actually one of the more valuable types. Okay, so we're gonna let me stone here. There's another sinew. So one little clear was worth about twenty five hundred gil. And that took, you know, all of two minutes. So obviously that's going to be the best route. And from here, just run back to the start and kill these two. These will already have respawned. The two down here will already have respawned by the time I cleared that little path. Yep, there's the first one just spawning. Okay, so that's it for this video. And what I want to tell you, though, is I found... Clearing this out for 15 minutes, I was able to find 19 raptor sinews, just because the drop rate is insanely high. And even better is the skins, which you can get up to 3 in a single kill. I found 31 of those in 15 minutes. And then I found 6 lightning crystals too. So at 400 gil apiece for the sinew, I found 3,000 or 7,300 gil worth of sinew. 5,700 gil worth of skins and about 700 gil worth of lightning crystals. So that's just in 15 minutes. That's 13,700 gil an hour, or every 15 minutes. So an hour that's actually in this 55,000 gil per hour. Three high quality raptor skins, more gil. So this is a great spot. Uh, use it. Obviously, there's a limit to the amount of skins you'll be able to farm. So that's where the other ones come in handy. So. I do want to put together this video just to give you guys some tips for making gill. Again, dungeons are great, but eventually those won't work out so well, and when they do, the Raptor spot is excellent. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.